Let's talk about the satisfaction with life scale, SWLS. It measures, as the title says, satisfaction with life. It won't tell you if you're happy or not, but it will help you to categorize which things you're most satisfied with. But what sucks that satisfaction away in the first place? What is making you unhappy with your life every day you wake up? Well, stay tuned. We'll teach you what drops that pep in your step. So sit back, relax, and let's take a look at how to be miserable for the rest of your life. Side note, this article is meant to be sarcastic and satirical, so please don't take it too seriously. If you feel you need to discuss your level of satisfaction with life, please reach out to a mental health professional. Number one, don't ever stick to a sleep schedule. They say that sleep helps regulate mood, brain function, and your overall health. But every night, you want to stay up to watch another season of that show you're binging. Also, you want to have a night out in the town before you have to go to work at 7am. You can certainly make that work. All you need is like 3-4 to four hours tops. Yep, you can always take power naps all day every day, right? Who needs that healthy sleep schedule that can increase your productivity anyway? Oh, and that brain fog that you get after your power naps all day long? Yeah, don't worry about that. It's okay, you'll just be miserable for life. And if you don't want that, it is always a good idea to stick to a healthily regulated sleep schedule. Number two, take everything for granted. Alrighty, do you have a wonderful support system and people you care about? But do you care? Nope. To be miserable, you absolutely cannot show gratitude for these things. Gratitude can increase happiness and even your hopefulness about life. But who wants to get their hopes up? So the next time someone does you a favor or gives you a gift, don't repay them or thank them. They should do that stuff, just because. Number three, avoid anything negative at all costs. Have you heard about people growing from their mistakes? Scratch that, hear this out. Mistakes are bad. When you make a mistake, people tell you so, which makes you feel even more bad. So if you avoid your mistakes, you won't feel bad. Bingo! And if bad feelings just come up, do whatever you can to push them away, cause why not? Surround yourself constantly with distractions so you can't process your emotions. Ignore your negative emotions and put that teeny band-aid over that huge crack in the wall. It's fine. This is fine. Number four, keep your phone at the ready at all times. Don't look away. Are you one of those people who actually like socializing? You know, that talking thing, like in person. <sighs> Oh no, doing things IRL is so lame. It's all about social media now, okay? And of course, you have to keep your phone on you at all times. Make sure you don't miss a thing. Oh, wait, uh, be right back. Uh, okay, done. Refresh my feed for the upteenth time again in as many seconds. Phew, should never miss a beat. So. Whether you're alone or out with friends, just keep scrolling. It's not like it makes you seem withdrawn or rude when with others or anything, no. Number five, self-care. More like who cares? Okay, we all know this whole self-care thing is just to help sell candles and essential oils, right? It's not like self-care reduces anxiety or helps you connect with your mind, body, and emotions. Not even close, right? It's not like it is functional or relaxing. I mean, who's ever heard of a self-care bath, am I right? If you want to be miserable, ditch the self-care and just keep plugging on. Number six, don't exercise or be active in any way. So many campaigns everywhere about getting up and moving, but why take the time and the effort to do so? Don't feel motivated by all these people posting selfies at the gym smiling. Just ignore it as hype. They say exercise releases endorphins, helps elevate mood, increases appetite, and boosts overall health. Instead, just refuse to believe that something that can be so painful and tiring can be so rewarding or help in your happiness. Nope. Staying on the couch all cozy and miserable is the way to go. Thank you. Number seven, don't celebrate small victories. It's all or nothing. All right, 
There is a psychologist who gave a TED talk and wrote a book about happiness. They say that little celebrations help keep you happy and motivated, and that happiness and motivation leads to a higher level of productivity. For example, your long-term goal is to open a bakery, but you just sold your first ever dessert baked out of your home. Sure, that rush of your first sale could drive you forward, but why not just save all that celebration to the end? You're not even close. Jeez. Number eight, all work and no play is the way to go. All you hear about nowadays is this work-life balance thing. Who is this? If you just bury your head and continue working, you can work more hours and get ahead. Sure, it can burn you out quickly to always be pouring out of your cup and never refilling it. But isn't it just a waste of time to do something that's not productive, like rest? Oh, no, 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 no. Just keep working and you'll be sure to be miserable for the rest of your days. Okay, <laughs> this was being a little sassy, so it's time to come clean. This was meant to shed some light on things that could be taking away from your happiness in a satirical fashion. Do you do any of these things and notice you're not totally happy? Need some ideas for what to do to help increase that satisfaction? Just do the opposite of what these points say. Do you know of anything that can take away from your happiness that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. As always, keep an eye on Sai for more Psych2Go content. You can also check out 5 things that truly make you happy according to psychology for more. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own Sai. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go, and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.